When you think of the darkest, most dangerous, most disgusting, most vile, and most disturbing places on the planet Earth, where kids were left to sit in their own feces and urine, to rot in their beds and cribs. You think of ghost towns, you think of prisons, you think of hospitals. But if you really want to see the darkest depths of the world we live in today, look no further than Penhurst Asylum. My hands, my hands, my hands. What color am I wearing? Blue? See the, the blood right there. Sean, get down here. A fucking black, sh uh, something dark went from left to right, straight across there, dude. The horrible and almost inhumane conditions that prevail at Penhurst are not the fault of a handful of dedicated doctors, administrators, and attendants employed there. No, the children, as they are all called, who are rotting in their cages, cribs, and beds, can thank society for their dreadful plight. What is now known as Penhurst Asylum was never actually called Penhurst Asylum. It was first called Penhurst School for the Feebly Minded and Epileptic. But what went wrong with Penhurst? What went wrong was the overcrowding. What turned a school into teaching kids and rehabilitating kids with disabilities and disorders soon turned sour when two of the three nurses had to take care of at least 50 patients at a time. Now, parents know today that even with two parents, two kids are way too much of a hassle. Now imagine if you have 50 kids and you have to change, feed, clothe them every single day and stick to a regulated schedule. So in addition to overcrowding, the patients here were treated terribly. So a few of the things that we learned about were, for example, there were surgeries that were done with no anesthesia because if somebody was not responsive, that was just looked at as like they didn't feel the pain, even though obviously they, they felt it. Uh, another one was if a patient, you know, bit a caretaker, right? And a lot of these people were mentally challenged or what have you, they were, you know, wild and hard to control. If they were to bite somebody and the punishment for that was to have their teeth pulled obviously with no anesthesia because it was a punishment. Now, to us that sounds insane, but it is a product of the time, the way these people were treated. And having learned about some of the things that went on, and these were just a few of the things that happened there, you can learn about that more if you'd like. It sets the tone, you can feel it. Now what sets the Penhurst investigation apart from any other investigation that we've done, it's not only the horrific events that took place here, but also just what occurred inside the buildings themselves. Because if you believe in the stone tape theory, the buildings absorbed those the energy, the negative energy, the fear, the pain, all those emotions, and they're just oozing from the walls on the inside. So when you step inside of the many buildings that are Penhurst, you can feel the, the hopelessness and the fear of the patients who were actually housed there. Not only were the patients in this institution tortured, but they were often left unvisited by their parents. These children were not able to leave the institution. They were to remain there and to stay there for the rest of their lives that they saw fit. And the ones lucky enough to be visited by their parents and or loved ones were only visited a handful of times. Many of these children have always been without the benefit of parental love or guidance, partly because of the stigma of shame attached to their illness. They have been abandoned and placed at the mercy of the state. What would you like? If I can give you anything I could, in the world, what would you want? Oh, I'd like to get out of Penhurst. If you can have anything in the world, what would you want? But I'd like to have 
But I'll tell you this, I had a little bit of money myself. Like. Would you rather have money or would you rather leave Penhurst? I'd rather leave Penhurst. One horrific example of Penhurst was a mass grave that was found there. Now, you'd think a mass grave of 20 plus people would be in some kind of record books, right? Wrong. Actually, no one knew about this, and when ground was broke for construction on the land, this mass grave was found. No one knew the identities of these people. They were just simply forgotten about, erased from history, if you will. So to, to find that out years later is just completely horrific and disgusting. This begs the question, what else went on at Penhurst that hasn't been recorded that we still do not know about to this day? While these 200 children learn cooperation and development of emotional response, many others rock in silence in their stench-filled, overcrowded cottages. While some children are afforded the opportunity to go on a picnic and bask in the sun, others lie awake in their beds, shackled like prisoners, punished, because they cannot control themselves and their illness. Hey boys, so we are at Penhurst right now. We're in the Mayflower building. We'll be, um, we'll be going all around. Uh, we're going to the infirmary. We're going to th through tunnels. Mayflower building for one, uh, two and three, and then Mayflower building basement. And also the Devon building, which is it's pretty big here. Um, so this is the first stop of the night. So um, we're going to the third floor now. No one's up here. It's pitch dark. So when we're here, we yelled for help for the nurse, and you could hear the hard soled shoes walk down that hallway, come to the intersection here, and walk right down here. The first time we did it, we thought, well, maybe somebody's messing with us. So um, we continued investigating up here, and then we came up hours later, and we tried it again. This time we set REM pods up all up and down this hallway, and we shouted for the nurse to come help, and the footsteps happened, and I just started taking pictures down this hallway towards that exit sign. And you can see, if you look down the hallway, there's a window at the end of the hallway. Well, it's very dark, um, but you can still see just a slight bit ambient light, but it was still so dark that even the pictures I was taking that were without a flash, just looked black. Um, it was only when I got home and enhanced those pictures and lightened them up that I had a full silhouette of a person at the end of the hallway. You could see them coming into the, in towards the, to the edge of the window. You could see them turn in a full silhouette. I mean, absolutely exactly what you're looking for when you're ghost hunting. And then you could see them kind of diminish as they walk this way. But what was really cool was we had about four uh, REM pods set up, one at the intersection, and then three others down this hallway. As the footsteps got closer, each REM pod lit up and then and then didn't lit up. And then the next one lit up and then subsided and third and fourth until the footsteps stopped right here. So some uh, recorder set up. I'm gonna set a recorder up down by the intersection. Yeah, go ahead. And then maybe one like part way here. We should have some stuff in here. Yeah, maybe we should set up a REM pod if, if he's gonna be walking. Do we have a REM pod? Yeah, bro, we have. The crazy thing about this REM pod is we have not captured any evidence with it yet. So hopefully tonight is our first time capturing something with it. So, I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out. So, what appears to be a strange light anomaly turns out to be the beam of the flashlight reflecting off my dad's EVP recorder. The light anomaly captured on this clip is debunked. It is not paranormal. Nurse! Nurse, please! Nurse, can you please come help us? Nurse, come quickly! Quickly! We're, we're injured! I need, I need medical assistance! Please help me! Please, nurse! Please! This looks like something out of a horror movie. Right here. Hey, is the head nurse here? We'd like to talk. You sound like you want to beat the crap out of the money. It was at this moment that my dad and Alexa caught a strange light anomaly that does not appear to be any dust particles 
or a bug. And in fact, this isn't the only light anomaly they ended up capturing. There's like a breeze in here or something. Real hot, real quick. Went to 75.5. Damn. Right there. This last light anomaly in particular is extremely strange. Could this be a spirit manifesting before our very eyes? Is there anyone here who would like to talk? Is that you trying to get through to us right now? Mm -hmm. That sounds like a mm-hmm. Well, it, it doesn't usually never work. I would say it usually doesn't work. Well, that was, that was something. That was like a yeah. Did you used to work here? While everyone was conducting their own investigations, one of my dad's EVP recorders captured what sounds to be a breath or a hiss. We'll let you guys decide on what it is, but this is what it captured. Now for this next piece of evidence, this is probably the most incredible piece of evidence we've ever captured on this channel. But first, I need to explain something to you guys. Right now, what you are seeing is us leaving the Mayflower building to go into the Devon building. Now how they operate Penhurst is that you travel in groups. And each group goes into a specific area for 45 minutes. And then another group swaps in, and groups keep switching in. Now as you can see, there's no other groups waiting for us inside the building and on the catwalk. Now you do see a group waiting for us to go inside the Mayflower building, sitting in the parking lot waiting for us to come out. And what appears to be a simple little pan over to the windows of the Mayflower building turns out to be something extremely disturbing. Did you see it? When slowed down in one of the windows, you can see a figure moving in front of an orange light in the window. And mind you, no one has made their way into the Mayflower building yet. This is the first shadow figure caught on camera on this very channel. So this is the uh, Devon building. This was patient housing, specifically the basement. Uh, and the basements of pretty much all of the patient housing housing uh, buildings were therapy rooms, classrooms, uh, break rooms, doctors' offices, all sorts of stuff. Um, but pretty much every room uh, in every building was used for a multitude of different things throughout the history of Penhurst since there was a lot of overcrowding so you have to pretty much make new space in places that originally were not intended to house patients so um, yeah we did two other ghost tours we haven't been in the basement of Devon yet all right uh, uh you want to see something cool yeah i see it it's a candy man it's a candy man bless you all this candy striping on the walls Bless you. Carousel, all that's original. Oh. Uh, okay, there's there's a gymnasium. Uh, so gym. uh, go down the hall that way and you'll find doctor's offices and classrooms. Uh, uh, Carousel would be completely original. I don't know what the heck that's supposed to be. We got like lollipops. These pillars were shaped to be like candy canes and you know, like strips. That's pretty cool. We've got a lot of nice things here in this room for you to play with. <coughs> it's the ball that you, you have down here that you play with all the time. And then we brought you some candy. And uh, we also brought you a flashlight you can play with. Touch the flashlight. That's right near 80. If you touch that flashlight, it will turn on and off. Now, if you touch it now, you can turn it off. Could you turn it off for us? If you like to play here with your friends, 
We'd like to be your friends. If you want to be our friend, can you turn it on? Thank you. Are you a little boy? If, if are you are you ten years old or under? Do you know how old you are? Oh, ten years old and under. Can you move the orange ball around a little one? Make it light up. Were you here when the zoo came in? The, the petting zoo came through. See? You were? During our investigation in the Devon basement, there didn't appear to be much equipment evidence. But what we did capture were a few light anomalies that we cannot explain, and a knock and a voice that we can't make out to be any of our own. Could this be the many children housed here showing themselves on camera? Thank you. Let's do the uh, Miguel's home experiment with the uh, blindfolding in the spirit box and sit, sit in the tub. Sit in a rank ass tub. I'll sit in it. You said it works. Alexa, are you munching? I no. told Alexa to go inside the tub. She won't. She's a baby much. She's not much of a team player. Who am I? John, who am I? A bunny. Look. What? <laughs> and then. A bunny. Yes. Whoa. Yes. Oh, you uh... Did anyone like make a weird noise? No. Like what kind? Kind of. No. It sounded like a. do something we've never done before. It's called the Estes Method. It's where you sensory deprive a subject. So we're going to, he's going to tuck his head under his shirt, or his eyes at least, and he's going to put the headphones on, um, very simply, and we're going to be playing the spirit box. So um, he's not going to be able to see, he's not going to be able to hear us, and we're going to ask questions, and when the spirit talks through the spirit box, He'll be able to hear it. He's going to answer the question. So if I say, like, what are, what color are my pants? Spirit says black. He's going to hear it. He's going to say black. All right, so that's how we know what's going on. Can you hear us, Dad? If you can't hear me, that means you're a loser. All right, can you hear me? All right. Are you a boy or a girl? Man. Man. Oh, yo. What color am I wearing, sir? What color am I wearing? Blue? It does look a little blue, don't it? Okay, it blue. is. It is blue. That's blue in your shorts. Do you like us here? Do you want to talk to us? No. Okay, um, well, I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Why? No. Water. You want water? I have a water right here for you, sir. Hot. Hot? Hot water. Is that what you bathed in? Did you bathe in hot water? What is he sitting in right now? What is this man sitting in right now? Is there somebody here? No, there's no one there. There's no one there. Something touched my back right here. It felt like a hand. Did somebody touch me seriously? No, 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 no. No one touched you. Can you hear me? Wait on the bathroom. Here, 
Yeah, it was uh, yellow there. I did. Uh, orange. He did. Is that you touching? Are you getting this? Yeah. Are you getting this? You touched him? Oh. Why did you? Do you not like him in your bathtub, sir? Here, let me get the millimeter. Sorry. No. Were you a patient, sir? Yes. Be that this way. You can't say anything that means I'm better than your fancy football. Hey, let's go. What are you? Me. You're mean. Sir. What was that? Tub. Hmm. He's mad. Tub. He's sitting in tub. Touch. Tub. Touch the tub. I'm touching the tub, now what? Do you keep touching his back, sir? Are you touching his back? Why are you touching his back? Back. <laughs> you give him a little back scrub? You shower with my boy Dave over here? Little boy time in the tub, you know how to go? You know what I mean, Dave? No knock. <laughs> whoa, 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 do not implicate me. Sir, would you like us to leave? Would you like the women to leave? No. Are we interrupting you? I hear a bell ringing. Ting, 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 ting. That sort of way. Sir, could you tell us your name? Is something touching my shirt here by my arm? No one's around you. It feels like this. That's what I feel. No. Is this a nurse trying to help him get his clothes off? Move. He wants you to move. Mm -hmm. he's, no, he wants I to... said, do you want him out of the top? He's trying he's to move. move. Yeah, no, he's trying to move it. Yeah, to get him out of the top. Yeah, because yeah, he pushed his back and pulled his shirt. Like, That's yeah. true. It might be a nurse. Has he been in the tub too long? Has he been showering for too long? Is that what he wanted now? Is it your turn? Somebody like hissed in my ear. Over here. He's mad. Mm -hmm. Well, this is the platform that they'd help them get in and out of. Yeah. Because there's stairs here. Mm -hmm. Do you want him to get out? So, like, well, tell they're him standing to get over out. here, right? But he's like reaching around, trying to pick him up. And reaching around, they would be touching him right there. Yeah. Is your name William? Willie? Bill? Billy? Anything of the sort? Yes. No, that's I told you that. There's a groan like that. He's an older guy. He's grumpy. Yeah. I remember the last time he said his name was William. Do you not want us bothering you? It sounded like yes. Do you reside in the right way? Yes. Yeah. There's a angry guy, Willie, who resided on that side of the building. I don't know if his name is Willie. William, William said yes. He, like, he's like, resides on that side. Sir, do you not like our games? Did you use the battery in this? I thought I just heard a yes. If they're very. I'm not too sure. It was. It was, it's a, it was like. It sounded kind of womanly. It was very faint. It was just like a yes. I, I mean, it could be nothing. I don't know. The breeze is on my left side. Can you make a knock on the wall for us? Can you get in the tub with Sean? Get in the tub with this man. 
Who are you? See, it just picked me. <sighs> Thank you for touching the REM button. Can you, can you tell us who you are? What is your name? The crazy thing about this REM pod is we have not captured any evidence with it yet. So hopefully tonight is our first time capturing something with it. All right, every time you talk to them, they If like... there's one spirit, make the REM pod beat. Tell the man with the ear earphones on. Is it? So there's one. Thank you. Can we shut that off? How many years have you lived here? I don't know what that said. It sounded like four. My hands, my hands, my hands. They feel, uh, they feel like tingly and numb and warm. It just, I just got like a wave, it was like a wave of... Your hands are 90 degrees and your head is 80 degrees. It feels like, um, you never put your hands slowly into water. I was gonna try and ask. Yeah? Feel if you ever put your hands slowly into water, that's what it feels like from, starting from my fingertips to... I don't know, middle of my hand, not to the wrist, especially my index fingers. My index fingers, they feel numb, yeah. Yeah. really warm, it's tingly, it's like, a, like they're in I think that's just warm water, like they're like mm -hmm. being dipped in, you know? Are you touching this man's hands? Your fingertips are warmer than your wrist. Fingertips, my finger, it's like, ah. Uh, like a degree, degree and a half different. It's like a, like really, it's really. Oh, something just says something. Like a yes. It's like a yes. My index fingertips are really warm. Are you touching this man's hands? Is this your way of telling us to stop? It's like. Slowly moving to all my fingers. Almost all my fingers are numb and sweaty and hot. Mm -hmm. Are you holding this man's hands? Are you holding Sean's hands? I think we should try the flashlight because it likes this flashlight. I can set this flashlight up. Go ahead. Because it keeps turning it on and off over here. Are you turning off the flashlight on the camera? Well, Sean's fingers are 89 degrees and his little finger is 84 degrees. Five degrees difference. It just keeps waving. It's like sloshing, it's like sloshing around. Like are you giving this man a bath? Is, is, is he getting a bath right now? Is he in the bathtub? Is he getting a bath? He's getting a bad hands, like a um, section between my fingers. So and I wonder if like finger and thumb. he's using hot water. It's starting to spread to my thumb. You yeah, mentioned hot water earlier. Yeah, he liked hot and water. My fingers feel tingly. We have to leave. Alright, we're packing up and heading up. Sean, we're packing up. Sean, we're packing up. Sean, we got some shoes. After our investigation in the Devon building, we went to the tunnels and we went to the basement of the Mayflower building. In both buildings, we captured little to no evidence. The only compelling evidence we got from both places was an EVP of a breath or a hiss from the tunnels. All right, guys, so time for the main event. Save the best for last. We're going to the infirmary now. And what the craziest part about this is, it will be torn down to the end of June. So this footage you're seeing right here may be the last ever footage of the infirmary. It has never been open to the public since it got closed down in 1987. And it will, uh, 
this is probably the last video evidence you'll ever see of it before it gets torn down. So, we're making history right here. Now, allegedly, not food. we heard they might be keeping it around if they can convince management to keep it around, but we're not sure. That's, that's a big if. Hopefully they keep it, but if not, this is, this is it. Next time we come here, it's not going to be here no more. So we got to really, really, you know, take it all in, you know. But I'll see you at the infirmary. And this is the dentistry yes, room? Yes, this is the dentistry room right here. Is this where they get all their teeth ripped up? Yeah, this is where they go home, do any sort of dental operations. But here's where the chair would be. Oh, jeez. That's rough. So, for those who don't know, when patients would lash out and bite or anything oh, yes. like that, so they... Look at this. Um, that's funny. Boy, I couldn't remember that. Because the sun healed it. Yeah. But um, for those who don't know, when patients would latch, lash out and bite and stuff like that, they would their their main form of punishment would to be ripping their teeth out with zero anesthesia. So imagine all the pain that occurred right in this very spot where the chair would have been, and all the teeth ripped out and all the blood and all the anger and sorrow and all these walls and these tiles here absorbed all of that if you guys believe in the stone tape theory or not the what the stone tape theory no. basically uh, stone tape theory is basically the belief of um like places made of wood or stone absorb like the energy of the events that happen there so like let's say you're in a, a wooden a, uh, let's say you're in this room like the tiles like experienced all that that pain you know how um you know how sometimes like a room could give a bad vibe mm -hmm. that's kind of what the stone tape theory is that that it's the idea that um it abs absorbs all that emotion especially wood it absorbs all the emotion and trauma that happened in that room and like it just radiates off the walls and everything. And it's, it's, it stores it like, like memory, you know, like a memory. And if that's, and if there's anything that's painful on this earth, yeah, it would be probably getting your teeth ripped out in this very room. This, this is the dental room. This is probably the big one. I think it's, it's a horrifying place. We just found something that, that kind of changes the game a little bit. If you can see this um, right here, it appears to be what looks like bloody clothes still from, uh, look, you can see the, the blood right there. Bloody clothes from, you know, gowns and stuff from when people had operations in this dentist room. If that doesn't speak volumes about what happened here and it went, went down in this room, no. Nah. Hold up. There probably are teeth in there. It's a snake skin. Ew, really? No, that's gauze. I want to do, since this place is going to be, oh my god, it goes all the way back there. Since this place is, this is completely massive, really massive, and this is going to get torn down, so instead of doing more investigating, I want to quick just Let's explore just the corridors. Let's just explore every inch of it as we, that we can. What do you think about the architectural design? Uh, I like it. It's uh, not very refined, but you know, it's all right. Do but the the the, the, uh, the real question here is: a do it go crazy? Uh, it don't go crazy. It go, it go asbestos. <laughs> you know. It go carcinogenic, you know. <laughs> okay, so this is also was a tuberculosis ward. So what they believed helped were um, uh, was a lot of sunlight. So you're going to see a lot of big windows. And this appears to be holy crap. There's so many places. Okay, let's uh, let's just explore this a little bit. Okay, nothing really here. Okay, why does this feel like a different vibe? This feels oh like. Yo, the toilet? 
This is kind of like urban exploration, and Whoa. Okay, that's weird. There's so many sheets. Oh God. Dude, if someone was under this and like just jumped up, I would, oh, would not be good. I would freak. You know. Yeah. Yeah, this is like ghost hunting and urban exploration. I bet we'll catch some crazy ghost shit in the dentist room though. Yeah, I know, we only get 45 freaking minutes. So we basically just went to the end of the hallway. The poopers, you got the poopers in here, the poopers. God damn. Ew, that's black water. Ew, that's more black water. Take a slurp, I'll give you five bucks. Yo, anybody got a light straw? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I couldn't even imagine. Okay. Now there's a whole nother wing to patient's day room. So this is where they'd put them. Like, oh. Alright. Oh, yeah, that's true. But I mean, there's nothing. Oh my god, look at that. That's fucking mold sensor. Where? Oh, oh, don't breathe that in. I'm risking the health of my lungs for the channel. It's in your lungs, it's embedded. They slurping on the Wawa. This, I think this, if they can keep the other buildings, I think they can keep this. I don't know why they... Yeah, they... It, okay, I scared the shit. On the other wing, there was a, uh, supposedly a kitchen. I remember because Aiden was very intrigued. What was I intrigued about? The kitchen. No. I said you're intrigued by the kitchen. Vibe sesh with the ghost boys? Vibes? What? What? Vibe sesh with the ghost boys? No. I think this is the kitchen right here. What? What do you mean? There's a whole bunch of little teeny tiny rooms that are like real small, but there's no plumbing or anything in them. This is sketchy. The storeroom? Yeah, The storeroom. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. What the heck could these be? Probably isolation rooms. No closets to put them Oh, yeah. Infirmary. Or, I mean, I don't know. Storage. Storage? Why wouldn't it just be one big room? Yeah, it's something weird. I bet it's something really This is a bathroom. Or a cleaning room. What the hell? This is, um, I don't know what these would be for. No trespassing. Oops. Why is there a bed in there? I don't know. Well, they probably kept patients in here, too. Maybe if someone was being, like, noisy and stuff, they just shoved the bed in there, because it looks like that's perfect it's a spot for a bed. Oh my gosh, could you imagine going to the basement? I'd love to do that, but um, I don't feel like getting kicked out today. Oh, it smells so bad. Oh, that's... that's this, I think this is the bridge. This is the bridge going over to the hospital. This is the infirmary. Uh, on the other side, that's the hospital. I think the, each thing was... Oh, that was scary. I, I thought this was just a sheet, so I pushed it. It was hard. I was like, oh God, is there someone... Okay. That's just that. Oh my gosh, if I saw like a girl in a white wedding gown or something, I would freak. Um, Hi babe. What was that noise? Was that you? Was that you? Hey dad, did you guys make a noise? Like a we just fucking captured something. You heard that too? Yeah. From my perspective, we capture unexplained noise. 
but when I switch over to my dad's perspective, it's just the woman that's with him making an agreeing humming sound without her even realizing it. This is not paranormal evidence, and this has been debunked. I'm telling you, every door you walked past, it was like there was patients in there looking at you. It was, it was so scary. I'm gonna walk down here. Oh, that scared me. Storage room. I think these are identical. Like the the wings. The poopers. Oh, this. This is a closet area. Is there any like old clothes? Oh, this is a weird vibe to this room, bro. I would not want to be in here. Go in, go in this room by yourself. It is a weird vibe. In that room. It's a weird vibe in there, man. Is it not? It gives me a weird vibe. Whoa, 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 whoa stop. I just heard a footstep. I'm not kidding. What, in here, right? Yeah. Is there anyone here? We heard you make a noise. What is this? The toilet. Oh. Yo, we we heard a and we heard I heard a footstep over somewhere over here like in this like room in this corner over this area is that this side they don't give us enough time to each place man no it's not enough at all well that's why we're going to be back yeah if you give this they, they host um they host 12 hour investigations, so it's from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. And they also host, um, if you can get 10 people, you need 10 people, and it's like 1,200 bucks or whatever, so it's 120 a person, and you get like the whole thing to 4 a.m., like the whole thing yourself. Like I said, random groups like this, like it's just you and your 10 people. So if you like this video and show a lot of support, we will go back here. Obviously not in the infirmary, because I mean, rip, but it's going to get torn down, but if you show a lot of, a lot of likes and a lot of support for this video, we will definitely be back here. I think this only scratched the surface of what is here because we only have 45 minutes, which is not enough time to each room. So give this video a lot of support. We will be back here regardless. Not even gonna lie, <laughs> even if this video doesn't do well, we're still going back because it's Pennhurst, you know. So, um, and if we, if it's just us 10 people and like no one else, like the whole place to ourselves. Dude, we're gonna catch so much more crap, dude. And we'll be there later so we can like go wherever we want. So that's gonna be crazy. So hopefully, um, hopefully you guys like this video. I know uh, not too much went down, but um, I hope you guys like it enough. Now back to exploring this place and uh, that sucks. This, this place is so cool. I really hope they keep it. It's probably not gonna happen, but I really hope it is. This is, this is really cool. This is this is history. This is history in the U.S. This 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 parent like Penhurst was an awful, horrible place, but it was monumental to getting uh, disability people with disabilities rights and, and really put that on the map because most of the time people with disabilities would be uh, thrown away like garbage and obviously they're people too, you know, and they weren't even seen as people back in the. Uh, the 80s when this was going on like they were considered like half a person or whatever so this place even though it was horrible it gave them their rights and gave them noticeability and, uh, and people started to take notice and really support them so um this is this is key to america's history this little place right here right aiden yep <laughs> yeah I'm tired right alexa yeah i'm going by myself i'll see all the spooky ghosts Ooh. Another thing is when ghost hunting, I'm not going to capture a lot of shit right now because it's like a certain 
vibe you need to go hunt. You can't just walk around all willy nilly and be like, oh, I can see some ghosts, you know? Oh, that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that door scared me because this light is so bright, so it blinds me. Holy crap, you scared the shit out of me too, bro. Come on now. <laughs> Let's go to that tennis room. The big window? Yo, big window? <laughs> Warm. Dental room. Oh, it's right here. Yo, dad, dental room's, dental room's right here. Oh, you never went down there? Alright, yeah, I wanna, I wanna start from ASAP. Aiden, you wanna hold it? Sean, get down here. Is this a hallway over here? No. Did I go down? Oh, uh, probably. But it's blocked off. That door. I came walking in here. And see that double door? Yeah. A fucking black, sh uh, something dark went from left to right. Straight across there, dude. The light on the window reflected back, and I, I'm telling you, I saw a black, black shadow, something, just dark. And I saw, I heard something at the at the other wing <laughs> at the end. <laughs> Good God. And <laughs> hey, you're going to double camera this, John. What in here? Right here. Hey, I saw it come from here, right across. Uh -huh. Could pass through the wall into these rooms here. Okay, I'm gonna try something. Can you knock back? It's a fun game. Whoa! It was. Can you do that again? It, I heard it. It was a light thud. It was like a, like a, just like that, just like that, that exact sound. Can you knock back? It's a fun game. Whoa! I kid you not, I heard that thud. Are you in the toilet? Give it a knock. I did hear, I did hear a thought. I did. It sounded just, it sounded just like this. Just like that, but a little quieter. You need to use the toilet. Someone there? This. You think it was a black figure? Yeah, like a black shadow. Yeah, something. Whoa, whoa. Oh, you did? I did, and I was like, against that door? No, when I was in that room, and it went back. Whoa, bro. You scared me, man. Jeez. No, but it was like a black picture. Like, yes, that's exactly yeah. what yeah. I saw. Drain that no, I just got fucking freezing cold right here. Oh, it's freezing. It's so cold. Oh, uh, all these are open? Right, right here. Open. here, too. They're open everywhere, so that Yeah, but why would, it, why would it all of a sudden just get... It's just like cold in... That's true. Kind of one area. Yeah, it's just cold here, so... I'd like to talk to the black figure we just saw walking at the end of the hallway and in this room. Can you tell us, were you, a, were you a nurse or a doctor at this facility? We heard, we saw, we saw a black figure. We saw it walk across the end of the hallway and into this room. We knocked on the door and we thought we heard you knock on the wall. And then you showed yourself again moments later to a completely different person. Were you a patient here? Did you suffer here? Were you one of the people who did horrible things to the patients here without anesthesia, without any kind of remorse or any kind of conscience? Were you one of the poor victims who had their teeth?
teeth pulled out with no Novocaine, who had terrible surgeries performed just because they felt you couldn't feel any pain. Is this how you show yourself as a black figure? Or are you something else? Please speak through the device in my hand. We want to try to help you. Are you a patient here? Did no. You yeah. That was a whisper. Did you Did hear, you hear it? that? Were you a patient here? Did you suffer here? Were you a patient here? Did you suffer here? No. No. Oh, I heard that again. No. Oh my gosh. Is this how you show yourself as a black figure? Or are you something else? Is this how you show yourself as a black figure? Or are you something else? It wasn't a patient. So it was either one of the sadistic sons of bitches who, who did the operations or it's something else. Something else entirely. And who could have, who knows what could have gone on here? I mean, this is. It's been abandoned for years, you know. I know um, I'm not going right into it saying it's like satanic rituals, but like yeah. satanic rituals, like they do go on in abandoned buildings. Like that's that's their like prime location to do this type of shit. Why? Because no one's around. They got all the shit in the world in here all the time. Like you can't just do a satanic ritual on the side of the road or anything, you know? That's why they like go to abandoned places or the woods. Look at that seclusion, slander. seclusion, you know? Look at that. That's pretty cool. Whoa! What did you see? I just felt... I, it could be from the window. I just felt like a cold gust of wind. No, it's totally cold here. I just... I felt it came this I, way. That's, 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 that's it. I want to talk to the person who... who shows himself as the figure. We know you're not a patient. Are you a doctor? Are you one of the people in administration or one of the doctors who made a horrible decision to torture people and to, to do a horrible, awful experiments on them? All in the name of the fact that they were lunatics or whatever and they didn't know any better or had no advocacy. Did you do these things to these people knowingly? Do you feel guilty about it? Is that why you're still here? Do you have remorse? There's footsteps coming down, somebody's walking. Probably talking to another guy. Probably our guy. Or are you something else? Were you brought here, were you brought here by somebody else and you had nothing to do with this facility? Were you brought here by someone? Did somebody bring you? Or summon you here? Did somebody bring you? Or summon no. you here? Make sure it's not you breathing. Did somebody bring you? Or summon yeah. you here? Did somebody bring you? Or summon you here? Did somebody bring you? Or summon you here? Alright guys, that's the end of the video. Uh, sorry I look busted right now, it's like 1am. Um, I start school tomorrow, I had a three week break, so. The reason why this video took a little long is because I tried a new editing style. Every single video I'm trying to improve and get better at things. So. Um, let me know in the comments section how this editing style is. I know this is a longer video, but I really I made a realization that I was really trying to get 25-30 minute videos, but I feel like 25-30 minute videos couldn't really go into depth and, and, and include every single piece of evidence that I, I wanted in there. And don't get me wrong, this is a 50, what, 5 minute video, and there's still pieces of evidence that I left out because there's just so much. So, um... I'm just trying to give you the best content. I don't care how long it is, unless you guys prefer the the shorter videos. But let me know about that. Um, and thank you guys so much. Sorry, I. I
I'm not on time with the videos. I'm trying to make them as good as possible and improve every single video just to get one percent, at least one percent better every time. Also, we can go back to Penhurst if you guys want. If you want to see more of Penhurst, they have a uh, thing where you can go in a ten-person group and you get the whole place to yourself and you get to go wherever you want because every room. No shade on Penhurst, you got 45 minutes in. And that is not enough time to do, conduct a paranormal investigation. So if you want to see more of Penhurst and you want to see, to dive deeper into things and to see what truly is behind Penhurst and, and who who's still there left and s see if we can help any lost spirits, anything like that. If you want to see more of us at Penhurst, like the video, comment under the video, share to your friends and family and subscribe most importantly but thank you guys so much that was Penhurst I had an absolute blast filming that and it was great it was beautiful just but <laughs> um, all right good night guys I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you in the next video bye